Beyond Borders is a service learning program offered through St. Jerome's University and that is one of the affiliate colleges of the University of Waterloo. So when you take Beyond Borders, you take a couple of courses over a couple of different terms in social justice issue, global politics, ethical issues concerning the world, and then you go abroad for three months. I went to Peru. Um, other countries include uh, Kenya, Uganda, India, Eastern Europe. Um, and they work in all different sorts of fields. Um, some are within like healthcare, some are environmental, some are within the education system. I was placed in Cayembe, Ecuador, which is just about an hour north of the capital city, Quito. Um, and what I was doing was I was in an elementary school and I was working sort of as an assistant to the English teacher. Um, what interested me was the chance to be able to travel and um, to do something while, while I was traveling. So it wasn't just a travel experience, but it was about learning another culture and, and living in a country with the people. I was living with a host family. At first it was, it was really difficult because I didn't know my way around at all and I obviously stand out, but I learned to really fall in love with the country and fall in love with their customs and their traditions. When I went away to Ukraine on my placement for Beyond Borders, I was living with a host family and volunteering at an orphanage, which they call an internet, for girls with disabilities aged 4 to 25. Most days we tried to plan fun activities, crafts, dancing, excursions, and a big thing is that um, girls with disabilities in Ukraine are marginalized from society, so they're put away and not really cared about. And I remember getting there the first day and I was shocked at how much the girls craved just physical attention. They were so desperate to have you hold their hand or to hug you. I went to Chincha Alta, Peru, which is a city on the Peruvian coast. And that particular area uh, was hit by a big earthquake uh, August 15, 2007. Um, and there was a home building operation there. I helped do all the sort of things that didn't take a lot of skill <laughs> when it came to building houses. And that's one thing that a lot of people notice when they go to developing countries is, you know, you go to help build houses, build schools, build hospitals, and you realize the people there are incredibly competent, way more competent than you really could ever expect to be. They always told us that, that going to the country, we would take more from it than we were able to give. And I think I was surprised to learn that because um, I guess we all sort of have this uh, idea that we're going to change the world and and I really learned that that's not what it's about that it's really about going and learning. You learn so much and then when you come back you realize that you're a different person. If you want to volunteer abroad this is a great way to do it. The piece I walk away with is that I can make a difference no matter how small.